Okay guys, we're back today with a quick update on the Focus Wagon today. And um, so yeah, quite a bit has happened to the car in the past, I'd say about a month or so since I've owned it, or at least since the update video. Um, that was pretty much the day I picked up the car and I literally did nothing to it other than run it through a $3 car wash in Detroit. And so anyways, I've had a bit of time now to get things transferred over from that 2003 Centennial Focus we had. And um, just a few other counterparts and things that I had to swap over before I sold that car. Um, as there were still a lot of good things on that car that I didn't want to really uh, buy new to put onto this. As this was just a work car primarily. Um, so anyways, here it is. It's, um, yeah, it's been a good car mechanically, so I'll go over that and everything. But cosmetic wise, as you can see, obviously, the windows have been tinted. Um, so I had the windows tinted. There's actually 5% back there and 20% up front. That's just something I need, especially I drive a lot. So it's nice to have that privacy and stuff like that. I just don't like driving around in a fishbowl and it keeps the sun out and just everything that you don't want to see inside your car out. For the most part, you really have to try to look in the window. Um, so anyways, other than the window tint, we got that as well. We got these rain visors, vent guards, whatever you want to call them. They're actually in channels and they were like 20 bucks on eBay. Um, as you can see, they were molded for the fronts, but the ones, the molded ones for the back, they just did, they, they were like not even made for this car. I tried to email the company. They told me I could send them back, but it cost $10 to send them back. So I just threw the backs away because I'm not going to, I'll lose $10 other than to get 10, just to get $10 back. So um, anyways, I have the front ones at least, and that's all that really matters. Um, this headlight right here was actually from the Focus that I sold recently, and that headlight I actually took those off my gray wagon the manual wagon um, and put those in my sister's car because I got the darker housings in my other one so these headlights are actually off my uh, second wagon so that's pretty cool with the headlight bulbs as well um, these wheels and tires are actually off the sedan the black sedan as well um, I put these Goodyear Vivas all seasons on the car um, back when I bought that sedan about two years ago a little under two years ago they're pretty good tires. They're 205 55 16s, and that's why I put these on here because they're 55s instead of 50s, so you do get a better ride. And the tires fill in the uh, fender gaps a little bit better. Um, so I'd say the tires are about the same tread life as the ones I took off this car, but these are all matching, and again, these have a nicer ride, and all the wheels are matching as well. So yeah, I'm actually getting new, I actually have new wheels for and tires I ordered. I just have yet to get them put on. I actually sold these wheels right here. Um, so yeah, pretty much. Other than that, this has all been here when I bought the car, so it's nothing to worry about. I clay barred it and waxed it, so that's all taken care of. It needs a good paint correction if I really wanted to get crazy with it, but it still came out really nice nonetheless. Um, now you know the car did have an exhaust leak and um, I hit a pothole down in Detroit and my flex pipe came undone from an, a rusted hanger. So I had to get this whole piece down here. That's all new. Up to the flex pipe. So there's all new hangers on the exhaust. That was a couple hundred bucks. It wasn't cheap to get done. So, uh, but you know, you don't want to drive around a car that sounds like a weed whacker either. So it had to get done. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what else I did go to do to the car um, other than under the hood and interior. That's about it for the exterior. A few days ago I was driving and a uh, reckless driver driving a company car was late for a delivery and um, he was reckless driving and doing so. He tried pushing me off the freeway and actually sideswiped me unfortunately. Um, so this is the damage to the car. You couldn't really tell on camera if I was just walking around and I didn't point it out, but um, there was like tire residue all over the car from side swiping me. There's some marks right here as well. Um, I'm surprised this mirror didn't break off as these things don't really move. I think maybe a mounting tab broke off in there. Otherwise, I'm still in the process of filing the claims and everything, but for the most part, it rubbed out. And if anything, if I don't get anything out of the deal, um, I can still buff it out and take it down to bare paint and try to put some gloss fire over it um that's all gonna need to be touched up though because that did take paint off and it is dented a little bit but it, it definitely could be worse considering the crash it was an 80 mile an hour hit um so there will be more updates on that but i did unfortunately get into a, a freeway crash collision if you will 
Uh, but yeah, other than that, the car really did turn out nice. I do have this original antenna, um, so that's pretty neat. I, I do suspect this will fall off one day. Um, so coming on over to the interior. Uh, if you can't remember, it was pretty dark on the last video, but the interior was really dirty. Like, I had to take a toothbrush and scrub everything. Even on camera, it's picking it up a little bit more. Um, so again, it is worse on camera than it is in person, but um, there was a lot of dirt in the seats, and I, I can see some right here still, but I'll do that on another day. But um, I pretty much scrubbed the interior of this car with a toothbrush and some scrubbing bubbles, just because it was just not really the cleanest. Especially this center console armrest right here was gross. Um, it was actually so, like, caked in previous owner finger grease that I actually put a new steering wheel on it um and the leather was torn and all that stuff so yeah there's that going for it as well even the door panels I scrubbed I mean it's all been sanitized um this wheel is out of a uh, focus SVT I actually bought this from my friend and I cleaned this up really nice too that's why it looks brand new I took the scrubbing bubbles on this for like a good hour and just scrubbed every little surface of it um even cleaned the perforations out and actually there's some previous owner again snot i don't know what that is um that's previous owner stuff right there i should have cleaned that as well but i didn't get to it um but oh yeah the steering wheel's been in place and it feels good so um start it up pretty much sure the radio is off as you can see it has 132 340 on it um i've put about i don't know a little over a thousand i'd say maybe uh 1600 miles on it now i did go on a vacation for about eight days so the car was not driven for a week um, it would probably have 2,000 miles more on it if I didn't go on the vacation, but um, I think in the I bought it with 130, 900, so yeah, about 1,600 miles. Um, so yeah, I had the oil changed. Uh, I swapped the radio over, and this radio is actually from my red Saturn view, if you guys can go way back. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. This was in my wagon, and it was in my sister's car, and I put it in this car and obviously swapped radios with the other car I got rid of. And um, yeah, that's about it. So automatic transmission. I would like to get a um, transmission service done to the car. It shifts a little slow, but it could be definitely be worse. Um, headlights, fog lights, turn those on. Um, I had a dash cam up there, and here it is. It, yeah, this is a Papa Go. I wouldn't recommend it. So that's just me. I might get a new dash cam eventually, but yeah, that's that definitely doesn't record when you need it to. Um, so I won't go into detail there. But otherwise, the interior, it's done really well. It's a little dirty, I do apologize. I have been daily driving this since I got back from my trip. Um, you know, I, I've just enjoyed driving it. I got in the Buick the other day um, because I drove the Buick to work and I got in that I was like, why, why the hell did I get one of these again? And I got back and I was driving it home and I was like, oh, that's right. So I, I, do, I do say I don't regret getting this. I actually do enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, we'll go to the other side and we'll pop the trunk. Now one of the lights is out. I will get to that at some point when it warms up here. Um, so, as you can see, I still have a lot of things that I have yet to move over that I had in the vehicle and I threw in a box. Um, so there's all that. We do have a uh, full-size spare under here as well. So that's pretty nice. I took that from her old car. Um, now I went to Virginia and um, I met up with Jake Man and um, went to the junkyard and I got a few things for this car. I got two wheels, two of those six spokes that's actually gonna be going on the car as well. Um, anyways, in the junkyard, I got this cargo cover. And this is why I was really happy to see this. So I got it and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I have a cargo cover for this now because if you remember, the old one was all stretched out. Um, so I get back to Michigan and I come put this in my car and this tab was broken. Now, I think in 2002 they redesigned this cargo cover design and they made it cheaper. Anyways, this is the original design. This was actually cracked off, so there was nothing to latch on to this side. So me and my grandfather were just messing around one day and he took the old one apart and actually, as you can see, it's kind of glued together. But he glued it with like this shoe goo. It's like super strength glue and it worked and there we go it latches on now and i have the cargo cover that functions for 10 bucks one thing i did figure out is uh junkyards in the south have nice cars they're not all rusted so yeah coming back here um yeah 
back seat is nothing to write home about. I've never carried anyone back here since I've had the car. Um, dual mat pockets. The leather is a little dried up, unfortunately. As you can see, it's a little hard, but that's it is what it is. Um, so yeah, there's that. I actually shampooed the whole interior. I shampooed the headliner. I mean, I touched everything in this car. Um, that's one thing I do. I don't mind driving in an older car, but um, driving in a dirty car is something I really don't like to do. So, and as you can see, the door is unfortunately that was not original for the car, so it doesn't match exactly. But I, you know, I'm not too worried about it. I do have Phillips uh, upgraded Phillips headlight bulbs in them. Again, those are from my older wagon as well. And coming under the hood, I uh, power washed it and I detailed it pretty good for the most part. Um, it was pretty dirty if you can remember. Um, I put that Ford battery in here as well. That's from the last Focus. Um, so I wanted that because I did buy that and I just have a warranty on it still. Um, I put the air intake back on it as well. I did a tune up with it, new spark plugs, wires, and a Motorcraft coil pack because I got a uh, check engine light for a coil pack. Um, so it's been running good ever since. I did a valve cover gasket and I put that um, coolant cover on from an SVT. Now again, that was off my old folks as well. So that's about it under the hood. Um, so it has a full tune-up going to it and it, it really just needed a full tune-up because it didn't have the original plugs and wires in it. The coil pack was like some junkyard thing. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure I have the car squared off as far as running properly. Um, but that's about it for the update, guys. Um, you'll see it again when I hopefully get the accident and all that other stuff figured out. Um, for the most part, here it is, guys. So as usual, thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later.